Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series, which we're playing as a Mirelurk tribe. Um, what do you think? I'm saying that right? Mirelurk tribes, which I played a long time ago, but were led by Mlulu. Mlulu is a great god of the Mirelurk tribe, a tribe of wastelanders who worship and work alongside Mirelurks in their swampy home. Mlulu's hunger is without equal in the wasteland, needing a single sacrifice every single day. The Coral Court, a group of oracles, serve as both the protectors of and the executors of Mlulu's will. Mirelurks. 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 We lose manpower every week, which is not good, and monsters from the depths, not bad, but sanity lost. They are destitute of the dead wood, do not take kindly to the flames of war. Ooh, since we're losing manpower, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. There you go. Um, man tribute? Uh, no. But let's see what happens with... Cyogenesis. The destitute of the dead woods not take kindly to the flames of war. After the new world was made from the ashes of the old, those who survivors were left were not but not a single road to travel. No purpose, for the fires not only burned their homes but their very identity. How do we live in a world like this? asked one soldier. It was right. Humanity was it was wasn't meant for this world. Quickly, the destitute began to lose hope. The fruits they ate to nourish themselves quit slowly draining away at their minds as their bodies wasted away from radiation. It would take new ways of survival to survive through this age for now. <clears throat> The death suit would have to survive. Which fruits did the ready man pick? The blood red fruits, the serene green fruits, as many as he could hold. Uh, let's do both. Sanity found. After one is hurt, the scars might last forever, the pain, it fades away. And then the coral court. For many in the wasteland, the Mirelurk tribe have taken our way of life too far. The fourth road of the dead. After one is hurt, the scars might last forever, the pain, it fades away. The destitute were led by the ready man in the early years, a helpful soul, eager to guide the addled and drugged back on the road set out for them to find them a new identity. The ready man taught the destitute to let go of the past to see forwards rather than back. They began to watch the ways of the wildlife of the crow lands, in particular to the Mirelurks. The Mirelurks, unlike the humans, were made for this world, and thus they thrived in it. Long after the ready man left the destitute, they would continue to watch the wilds and copy them, dipping their newborns in the swamps and feeding them exclusively on the same fluorescent meat fruit, meat fruit that the Mirelurks fed on. Eventually, after years enough, uh, the Mirelurks began to no longer see the destitute as a threat, but they were one people. How long would this transformation have taken the destitute before they saw themselves this way as well as a Mirelurk tribe? One generation? Two generations? Three generations? Do we want money now? We are. We have no land power. And uh, we don't have a trade node. So that might be really beneficial. Crowlands? We could use more building slots, in all honesty, too. Um, what I prefer, what we prefer, a simple boost to manpower a little bit, or more building slots, because we are running, we've already ran out. We can't build very much right now, though. Oh, get more building slots for now. The Legacy of the Ruddy Man. For many in the wasteland, the Marluk tribe is taking their way of life too far. The Marluk tribe is all about embracing their identity as Marluks in human skin. They wear old Marluk ar carapaces as armor, use their slime to color the skin and protect their exit at all costs. In recent years, however, this dynamic has changed. A group of wise men and oracles known as the Coral Court have taken control of the Mirelurk tribe to help the tribe on their path. These oracles attest that the ruddy man wasn't a man, but a Mirelurk queen of old. Under the co Coral Court, the Mirelurk queen, Mlulu, a great Mirelurk queen that the court protects utterly is treated as a god, of the bloodline of the ruddy man and her heir to the coast of Orgim. Among many of the Mirelurk tribe, it is hard to say whether the Coral Court uses Mlulu to control the tribe's bidding, or Mlulu uses both the tribe and the Coral Court as underlings to help spread her domain. Which do you feel is right? None shall stand above Mlulu. The core court serves Mlu, and the tribe serves the court. Well, and honestly, we're going to need way more of these guys, so we're going to go to the arms workshops immediately. Um, political power is good. Defend the river. Stability. Ooh, that's nice. Um, offer mute fruit for cannibal territories. I want as much territory as possible. I want to go to war. If they accept. Um, coral construction. Oh, that's nice, too. Manpower. Arms workshops. That's all pretty good stuff, too. Um... We've only three research slots, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it makes sense though. We lay more eggs, huh? If they accept. What was this? The ritual of Black Hollows Night. Oh, we eight thousand legs. So legs, eggs. It's gonna take a long time for to get us where we really, really want to go. Let's go with the oracles. Mirelurk attack and defense. Hard and shell attack. Oh, uh, it just depends which one you want more of. 
Outside of Warfare. Uh, it's alright. Well, I like this one, but sing to our Queen's needs. The Cold Court has always been in charge of tending, so to Amulu's to needs. Sound of tend to the God of the Marlock once again. So the Coral Court. Oh, that's pretty good. The Coral Court are a group of oracles, prophets, and priests who tend to and protect Amulu from the outside threats. They, in all respects, guide the fate of the Marlock tribe and its destiny. The apostles of the Ruddy Man were deemed as heretics by the Coral Court, and they would not uphold their beliefs. Thus, they were banished to the south. Um, well, there's some caps, but we get some more stability. I like that. Can we justify and go to war early with somebody here? I'm going to try it. I mean, we have militia, which is not great. But, uh, let's see what happens. Because we can get the Maw. That's a trade note, right? No, maybe not. Yes, it is. West Portland is. And there's West Portland. That would be fantastic. More stability. The Coral Court often has secret meetings outside of the public's awareness. Few are aware of the details of such shady meetings. However, most often the effects of them can be rather far-reaching. Now we have no money. Um, proof tribe structure, more stability, or more political power. It's only a 40%, which is not great. It's not bad. Uh, ooh, the Coral Shapers were definitely going to do that one too. I always do the Golden Gecko. Let's. I'm going to grab that political power. More workshops for the Chiefs. Not terrible, but it's not great. So we're going to grab more political power if we can. And uh, Golden Gecko. We love geckos. And then uh, Amulu's Knowledge. Outside of Warfare, Army Experience Gain. She Who Knows of Ways. Honestly, why would you choose Amulu's Knowledge? I mean, that makes more sense for us, but we might get two doctrines in total. Maybe, maybe not. Screw it, we're going to go this one anyways. We need uh, Army XP. And political party. Friends in high places. That's something good to do as well. Tribal Elder. Ooh, we have more political power. You know what? I'm going to get more political power first. Yeah. Uh, plant for the next harvest. Sure, the crowlands grow a plenty amount of food on its own. If we aren't careful, though, we'll strip the land dry. For every meat fruit we take, we must plant ten more for the wilds to enjoy. Yeah, as you can see, only three research slots. Um, I want to expand more, so defend the river. It's time we check on our old river fortifications. Defending the river is the key to keeping the cannibals out of Mulu's domain after all. A new spawning pool is needed. After the last meeting, the Coral Court has decreed that we need more spawning pools for the Mulu's next laying. How should we go about getting enough land to fit all the eggs she will be laying? And coral construction. The use of coral as a building tool among our people is paramount. But this is a cultural symbol and for the many creative uses we have found for its uses. Consult the oracles. The oracles are eager to share their knowledge with us. We should ask them the knowledge they hold. Um, so this is all good. I still want to keep going through a lot of this stuff here, too. Build, because we don't have that much to build with, really. Uh, honestly, I really don't like militia. These guys are only 10 combo. 20 combo, actually. So they're actually, actually halfway decent. You know what? Just convert them all. We don't definitely don't have the resources for it, but that's okay. Is needed. Do you actually use? Oh, he uses Marlurks. No. Um. For now, we're gonna go with this route because we are technologically very poor. And of course, we're gonna go with Outsider Warfare for this one because this will help us out. Mutants, which include Marlurk platoons. And this we're not negative. Good. Good. Civilians, manpower, arms workshops, conch knives. Conch knives made from sharpened conch shells becoming a rather popular commodity among the fighters. Let's make more. And we're doing that because we are really in one heck of a deficit. So we barely make any every week. Woo! We good on you. Local leader, which is good. Uh, life giver. Five hundred eggs. Cl current clutch of eggs. They move around inside sometimes. They must be close to hatching. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. More arms workshops. Uh, Thunder sticks were never really the best choice in our lands. The land is too damp for working with gunpowder to be easy. Still, we can always import a few if we need to use them. I am racing for more arms workshops because we're gonna need them against these guys. Because they shouldn't be too tough, but you never know. Uh, 
Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Economic advisors. More cap. More tra caps income, which is good. Base. Ooh, resource efficiency gain more construction speed. Uh, shamans, tribal elders. Just five Wolvo sounds on us. Uh, bright eyed mock. More defense. Ooh, more soft attack. Interesting. That's a unique aspect of the kill claw. Division speed. Army experience gain. Aspect of the soft shell. More good population. Ooh, aspect of the king. I'm going to go with that one, but since we're still waiting, anyways. Tribal elder. Midwife. Shaman. I'm a suck for that political power. Because eventually we got to core a lot of things here. Yes. So then, Oregon weapons trade. Oregon is a land of war and conflicts among the tribes. Uh, by staying out of that, we can earn a hefty amount of cash by selling weapons across the Columbia River to the warring tribes. Melee weaponry. This would help the person. Oracles have had visions of tactics. Perhaps we can come up with a new strategy for soldiers. We're really trying to max this out as much as we can, can't we? Yeah, three more. That'd be good. So right now, if we do that, we're down this many. Um, reinforce on high. Jump low. This way, these guys get the equipment first. We get 1200. Not ideal. Good, finally we can make more. Alright, uh, let's see what we here. Turn the river. So now we make not even one a day, but like 3.6 a week. And we do have a cup of coffee that keeps nice and uh, refreshed. Um, resource efficiency gain. We're working on this, which is good. Scout kits. Well, you can still use scout kits for now. Mm. Race on economy. What are the resources like? We are. We have water and scrap, and that's it. That's not good. Up here. Oof. Negative 460, huh? At least deficit's looking a little better now. Scavenge tools, cap, base, output. Uh, well, that one's still ahead of time. Grab some of this here too. Then the river. Maybe spawning poles are needed. Well, well maybe, what do we go back to these two? We have, we'll have the manpower and whatnot. We'll need less marlurks. So you're actually full here. You come over here. This tells me to hit really hard. Reference um, manuals. That's good. That's good. That's nice. No, you definitely want to stay here. You definitely want to stay here. No. You don't need to go there, you ding dong. Whatever. All right. I for mute fruit for the cannibal territories. Well, it will hurt us in the short term, perhaps, but making a deal with the owners of the cannibal territory, we can get some more empty land for the purpose of creating Mylurk spawning pools. Well, we're breakers. How's the port maw? Or we just go to war with them. Which one are we justifying for? Conquered Telemook, which is up there. Well, we can try that first, why not? Well, it hurts us in the short term. We'll try it. Oh, hello. Still working on that XP for that political power. Uh, military sending bonuses. Uh, sure, why not for now? Uh, 75 days. Let's wait. We might go to war soonish. So, nothing here we can really care about. Too much peaceful origins. Not quite shaman. War sport. It's not bad. Midwife of the tribe. That makes more sense to me personally um, for what we're doing here. 
trying to increase our population and whatnot, aren't we? Chief of the Air Force, Dreamer. Um, military High Chief. Soft shell aspect. King aspect, yeah. We want more. Organization. Maybe we shouldn't have converted these guys, oh well. Not bad. Secret language is good. It's November. Yes. Bull, maybe bear. Hey, yeah, it's great. Uh, go ahead and optimize training. That's fine. Outside of warfare, good. And let's give some more recovery rate, too. And let's see what happens. They reject us. It right, seems like they value the land more than me, too. Well, then. <clears throat> we will consult the oracles and see what happens. If we can make an instrument, that would be fantastic. But we'll see. Alright, so you are a. Jump rounds, melee hacker, obviously. Light touch, tanks and behemoths. Might makes right. You've got 33 tons of steel eager to say hello to all your enemies, and who are, who are going? Who are you to get in the way? In fact, you love nothing more than standing in the middle of battle, surrounded by screams and explosions as your enemies' bolts pick, clink harmlessly off your armor. That makes more sense to me. What's nearly imperialist? Uh, smooth talker, cult of personality, charm is practically devilish. I want that one. Alright. They immediately start attacking us. Which is kind of what we wanted. Good. They're actually holding out. Look at that. This is good for army XP too. Which I love, 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 love. Ooh. Expand and improve medicine and agriculture. Uh, morality of our scientists. Radicalism. Let's go with radicalism. Uh, get more water. It's not bad. to the gods. More power. Oh, so we get more science points. Uh, how do we get more science points? Build more temples and whatnot, I guess. So losses. Three versus 162. That's not bad. Well, you will have to continue with the troll one eventually, though. Coral Prophet Anastasia. He's doing quite well. Alright, what's next? Uh, craft coral tools. Coral tools such as hammers, nails, and daggers are important for us. The more we make means now, the less we have to make later. Coral homes. Um, searching shipwrecks. We have found some, old, found some old diving suits during a recent scavenging hole. Hall. Perhaps we should use this to search some of the old shipwrecks off the coast. Again, maybe yes. They're nice, they're nice. Good. All right. What do we got here? So really, I think Tidal Tear is nice. I'm gonna go with Obed, more soft attack. Army. I'd like to go here, but we're gonna go and switch over to here too. We're gonna start with encirclement, shall we? So, Marlers. That's been nice hit. We get bonuses in amphibious. Ooh, a lot of bonuses in radioactive wastes. Look at that. That's fantastic. I knew they attacked there eventually. <sighs> Nothing like it. Move, move, move. As long as it can't pierce us, we're going to do very well. Ah, the freighter fortress. There's nothing, no harder metal in the wasteland than the old freighters. Perhaps we should base our tribes home out of one of those washed ashore freighters. Alright, we're going to take a risk. One heck of a risk. Good. 
good. Roy Cream's nice. Come back over here and grab this too. Early game's looking pretty good so far. Come on. Get your butts in there. Come on, I ugh, you stupid AI. You are gonna stay there. Stop it. Delirious idiots. That's why I hate it. Militia, they, they just suck. Terrible. All right, uh, Coral Homes. We've gotten some rather big sheets of coral off the seafloor, so we can use this coral to improve the housing of our tribesmen. All right, so how many have we lost? 30. That's not bad, really. After seven divisions left. Um, here, come here. You guys can go here too. You might be able to make a, a circle of four divisions in total, perhaps. That'd be pretty neat. There you go. You lead the way. Uh, if you can move fast enough, then you might be able to cut them off. Nice. Um, the Apostles, we can move faster when we take out the Apostles. Yeah? Sounds like a plan to me. 310 days, holy crap. Yeah, well, whatever. I guess it's time to organize everything, too. I'll just go on at this point. I don't think there's too much resistance that's really going to happen against us. Meat fruit based drugs. We have a lot of meat fruit and very few drugs. By making meat fruit drugs, we can fix both problems. Uh, have we killed off literally every division? We have! Look at that! When Meyer looks attack. Very nice. Oh, if you get a program, that'd be good. Smoke signals, focus internal sphere. Well, we're going to go ahead and do this. And expand army training. Very good. Of course, at the beginning, I mean, early game is not too bad, usually. And we get a trade node, too, which is awesome. Um, but once technology starts happening, people research more, people get anti-tank weaponry, it gets more and more difficult. You should be fine. Amphibious invasions are something that we specialize in. Defend the tribe. We need to defend all the tribe. Those who are too weak to defend themselves are the most important to keep safe. Good. Beautiful. Port Maul has fallen. Also, I don't think I ever explained what we're actually doing here. We're using Oral Blues, Oral Blues Radio, Oral Blues tech, uh, Generic Decisions Expanded. Um, we're using Oral Blues. Uh, Junior decisions revamped, technology expansion. That might be it, actually. Huh. Mutants. Well, maybe we don't get anything from mutants now. Yeah. Huh. Well, whatever. Ah, and since we're here, pacify them. Kind of advisors, please, yes. Wall painter. Uh, more money would be nice. So now we got all this core. So now we can come down here. 
Uh, weapon stashes on the beaches. In the case of our land, this if it ever gets invaded, it's probably a good idea to stash conch knives under the sand. So that warriors can arm themselves quickly in times of war. It seems the heretics for southern border have finally made an attempt at reconciling our differences. While they ultimately reject outright submission, they feel that us working together in the face of the current adversaries to the east might be a worthwhile investment for us both. After all, if one were to fall, then surely the others would fall as well. All peace for now. Huh. We straight up annex them to Coral Court. Many in the schism? Eh. That would allow us a coral court. Troll worn, carcass walkers, rib breakers, apostles. Cores, all states also cored by these guys. Oh, oh look at that. We got all that intermediate type. Cultural people. Core states coastal to the Pacific for free. That's intense. That's actually really cool. Peace for now. Honestly, you know what? We'll, we'll just do it. Annex them. That's fantastic. We just mended the schism. So what do we have here? Uh, Marlock platoons. Uh, it was the same as what we got here. So I don't want to see this. You know what? You can give these guys over here. You guys can come over here. Uh, we're gonna need someone else to move here, aren't we? That's actually better. 390 is not ideal. We're going to increase, increase your, Yeah, there we are. Uh, what else do we have here? So. 10. Eh. Eh. Honestly, sh show me this. You're not there. Boom. X out here, text. It's not ideal, but it's better than militia. Who rippers? Huh. Worshippers. Worshippers. Worship poppers? Of coral. There you go. Slight upgrade. Slight. Very slight. Deco signals. Nice. Good. All that stuff is good. Um, repair maybe a little bit more. Let's see. And now we're going to actually start working on getting military academy officers, perhaps. Uh, would it make any sense for them to come to our lands? But I want more science points. So. Our people are so violent that we can simply scare away the followers even approaching their lands. Uh, that wouldn't really help us out. We'll let them come in for now. I was hoping we'd get more divisions. And you know what? We did. Optimize trade. One minute, please. Clearing up the cannibals. Oh, we get a core in cannibal territories. Naturally, we can't have Mlulu enter this land if there are cannibals here. Perhaps we can make good sacrifice to Mlulu themselves. Arago. Oh, Akigahi. Hi, take control of it. Reclamation Authority. What level is this? Oh, level 8. That's actually pretty good. Nice. Good stuff. And clearing out stuff. Good stuff, good stuff, good, good, good. It's been a spread of the crow land. Shortly after the integration of the new territory, we've noticed the old swamp boundaries starting to inch towards the north. We should encourage this. So, is this Cannibal Creek? Northern, Northern crow lands. Capture the Warren. Oh, are they actually winning against a troll warren? And then offer meat fruit for the river breakers coast. Sure, the coast we've attained is rather good. Perhaps the more would be better. Pushing east and training for land ops of the uh, Wilmanette River would be a good investment for all of us. Why not? Um, I don't know how much I'm going to really invest in infantry, so we'll see. Uh, maybe September still. Land doctrine is coming along. We'll need some might to tank no matter what, so. 
Shooting appointments. Tribute to the gods. Not worth it. Uh, if your war support goes up. You know, for now, we can use war support. Why not? Natural disasters. Is there any attachment for the statue? Give everything. Esmeralda falls silent. Infrastructure standardization. Good, good, good. So we can acquire everything for free eventually. Nice. Let's increase our science points, which is also why I did it, and do all this stuff too. Um, research speed and medical technology. It's only 10. Hey, oh, we managed to ship off the mutant to the capital, and they've given us land in the question. Great. Leaving the swamp. Oh, look at this. Connecting the spawning pools. We acquired a lot of land that Emily can lay eggs in, yet much of it is rather spread out for her. Cleaning the old roads, old world roads, would be a good use to her time, and decreasing the time it takes her queen to travel across the land. Core of Salem and Albany. Oh, that's awesome. Salem. Oh, can we go to this already? 61. Yeah, that's not what we're doing. And Albany. Okay, so we get those as cores. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. Defending the new coastline. Sadly, we can no longer use simple outposts in order to prevent an invasion of our land. If we want to defend this territory, we'll need to increase our ability to output equipment to our shield warriors and leave in the swamp. With the new land stretching this far out of the swamp, with some tribesmen are having to leave the confines of the swamp. Already, they are going and inhabiting the old ruins in these far off lands. Ah. Oh, that's awesome. 95 days. Alright, so what do we got here? We can get more HP and, and better division attrition, which is great. Or we can get more initiative and organization. Ooh, man. Uh, how much organization do we have already? It's not bad. It's not great. HP is already insanely high. 500 is insane. Which I love. But we can get even more HP. I think with HP being so high already, I'm going to go ahead and go with early tactical lessons. I think that'd be better overall. Now you could have in some seriously insane HP, but still. Um, research use authority. We already started doing that. Um, sure. Spent army training, connecting the spotting pools. Awesome. Just tons of this stuff. Oh, we need more water. Well, followers. That's why I also got the followers here, too. Sure, why not? Anti tank ruffles. Good, 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 good. Baha joins the Union. Well, good for them, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure if I really want anything there. Crawl Control, I'm not sure if I want any of that either. Definitely want a lot of you, though. Um, and then Swamp Roads. Well, actually, we don't have to do this yet, so... After that, dig barrels for spawning pools. We sh why should we trade away our meat fruits? Those meat fruits are ours. Instead, we should seek on digging downward, putting more value into the land we already own, rather than buying the land of others for extreme prices. More eggs, and this gives it more civvies and more workshops. Nice, good stuff, good stuff. We're looking really good right now. The Western Brotherhood. Interesting. If that's the case, sure. So, science points. Hey, we doubled it. Now we're at 10. We want to get it to Rise of Mind. How many do we have? 155, so it takes some quite a bit of time. Uh, that any points? Yeah, we can get one for now, too. That's fine. So really, you want to race and get as many eggs as possible. Um, so at least 8,000. Because I want more manpower. I really want to get, of course, all states also courted by the apostles, which is great. And this one is not bad, but getting to this one would be awesome. Core coastal states. That is fan freaking tastic. Um, gosh knives. And we're working here. We're doing all that. More research speed. Oh, yeah, good. <coughs> nice. And arenas in the tunnels. While the barrow diggers dig deep underneath the swampy dirt, they have to do something for entertainment. Many diggers have begun in their off time fighting in arena brawls. To accommodate this, many coral smiths are moving into the barrels to make a living for themselves. So let's get all the egg stuff done first, and then we'll do this one. We got a lot of eggs we gotta do first. Blind eyed miners. The blind eyed miners are a group of criminals we have put into a chain gang to help dig the barrows. Most of the captured cannibals we have found trying to stalk the territory. For some of them, they have seen so little sunlight that their eyes have gone blind. And struck an iron. While digging our barrel diggers, they have struck an ore of iron. This will be useful in making nails for armors and tools. And deeper into the earth. 
As the diggers draw the tunnels of the barrel even deeper, we are certain to find new riches and new difficulties we must account for. Nice. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. Cold Creek. Yeah, that's good stuff. The troll run win, I guess? This that'd be nice. Um, no, try first. Mean, mean green fighting machines. The diamonds amongst might not be the brass, but they are spirit enormous in almost every way. I'll show them how big and strong we actually are. Spiritual guidance, it's not bad either. Or thinking outside the box. If you want to order around mutants, you have to think of new ways to convey commands to the less intelligent of us. I'm okay with that one too. About that. Look at that. Skill 5 attack. Cunning core. Level four. Gunslinger, motorized ninja, night person, night kin attack. I'll go with rooted too, just in case. I never know. Let's see what we can take. Take the actual capital, that'd be fantastic. No, I want you to. Oh, well, okay. Well then. I would like at least one tile, please. We waited long enough. Ah, uh, yeah, for this. A royal itself would be key. Okay, never mind. We can't get a royal. God dang it. Um. If they had this already, we can take this too. might really piss him off. Feel folks, huh? You should remember, I don't think you're supposed to exist. I could be wrong about that. I really don't think you're supposed to exist just yet. Nice. You're doing exceptionally well so far, I would say. For later. Ah. Uh, sure, for later. Um, Conscious knives are good. Optimized trading is good. Real good. So we have, uh, yeah. oh, striking iron. Well then, we'll get guys against that later on, anyways. We're doing okay up there. Well, guess you're next. 170 days, and 15 more political power. So be it. Alright then. Oh, just need a little more political power. We'll see. Early tactical lessons, very nice. Royal, awesome. So now, we can get more defense, harness, and armor, which we could use, or speed. No, armor. Definitely. Adapted armor doctrine. Definitely, 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 definitely. Vacuum tubes and then primitive radios. Inner shells, of course. Alright, so old world wall holds. What else we got here? We're still more Marlock shells. Deep burn to the earth. It's basically uh, deep earth breathing equipment. In the old mining town, we've uncovered a series of deep breathing suits. If we can reverse engineer this, we can allow our diggers to break the earth even deeper than their lungs can take. Extracting gold. Gold, gold, gold. Wonderful, beautiful gold. We should make jewelry for them to loot the coral court to adorn themselves with this. And defend the new bloods. Now that the tunnels are starting to get wider, Umlulu has actually been able to fit themselves in order to lay their eggs. We need to defend these eggs, lest anyone try to hurt the new bloods. Nice, good stuff. Deeper into the earth. Aggressive expansion, please. Now we're lacking energy as well. Not ideal. And a royal. Level 8 mode. Awesome.
awesome. We got plenty enough money now. Um, we could do that one. Let's invest in a royal. Okay, we get a few more. Sh oh yeah. I don't think they're any good. They're all just destroyers. Man, that was the last time I actually played normal Hoi 4. It's been a very long time. The new bloods. Good. And striking gold. And then after that, I don't think we get any eggs on the right side here. Which is all the little buffs we can get. Strategies. Be the tribe. Max sec demands territory. Oh, look at that. We'll have to deal with this then. Well, max sec. We will see. What do they want? They want all the royal. Wow. That's pretty demanding. Can they back it up, though? Army XP, because we can't. So that's all good and done for now. We may need a power station, though. Oh, they declared one on us. No, they declared one on them. Guys, please. What did we look? We never mind. Okay. Yay. Hold. Do this. You know what? If those that are there, just go in. We're good over the river, so. I am okay with that. Pre tribe structure? Sure. Why not? Oh yeah, we're just smashing straight through them. That's awesome. Okay, we got them. This is probably the best time I've ever played with these guys. There you go. Really, it's going to be special forces I want to keep encouraging, so I'll do that. Alright, so we got quite a bit of political power. Agriculture. We're going to need some more water. Because we're striking gold. Alright, so we got that. Great. Um, so we got all the egg stuff done. I guess we'll do a ritual of Black Hollow's Night. It's finally time for the hatching. A birthing of a new generation of Marlurks. Such a thing that only exists. It happens once every few decades. We need to be ready. How many eggs we got? Fifteen, five hundred. Good. Many by fours. The apostles of the ready male finally rejoin our kingdom. Once we were two, we, now we are one. And Ngasta, Kavata, Kavas. Finally, Mulu's will be well known, or Mulu's will, will is known. The Coral Court has told us now that Mulu has a hatter hatching. She is wanting to expand her tribe's land as a reward for her service. We must go out and conquer territory for a queen. Ah, oh, good. Welcome back, to Royal. Ritual of Black Hollows Night. Finally, it's time for the hatching. Only once every few decades can the tribesmen of the Marlurk witness a new generation be born like this. All across the tribe, many are coming together to work hard for this. To build up the tribe and prepare for the influx, new influx, of Marlurks that will spread out across the land. For Mlulu, across the Mlulu's kingdom, her great clutch hatches. Thousands of baby Marlurks flood the swamps and um, into the land. Arise, arise. Every egg in Mlulu's clutches hatches. For every egg hatch, we gain one manpower. Get every cap for the army. Oh, we get that eventually. We get children and mothers. We lose a lot of monthly population. Recovery rate, construction speed, and research speed, and add distress outsiders. Oof! All new generation, holy crap. Um, so that's not bad. We're no longer losing weekly manpower, are we? Oh no. Insatiable hunger. So. We saw that, unfortunately. Oh, children and mothers? I don't know if I really want children and mothers, to be honest with you. I think I'm for veteran pathfinders personally, but I do like every cap of the army. Good nature. I think that's worth wow. Painter, base, growth, infantry equipment, eh. Armor, nice. Good. And division, uh, organization loss and moving, and better division experience gain versus reconnaissance. Well, intelligence gain from combat's pretty good. I like that. Do we have any recon? We have no recon. So, if we have no recon, there's no point doing that. Oh, well. We already have no recon. Can we increase our shells? Oh, we can. Defense, soft stack. I forgot about these. Defense. We don't get any recon anyways, so 
any 30% of recon will do nothing. Um, I like intelligence though. Inherent tactical knowledge, good. Calamity's fighting. Uh, there's this guy there. Calamity. These guys are uh, still fighting up here, huh? From the Western Brotherhood. How many divisions they got? Eight to twenty-three. That may be worth going to war and fighting them next. Not super worried about this. They're all very weak, anyways. Good. Good. Keep it up. Pretty much what I thought. Of course, I guess they're down here too, so. Alright, you guys would be the movers and pushers. You guys are just here to defend lands. I guess we can go to war these guys next, technically. That actually might be for the best. Two there. And uh, Del Sol. Very nice. Add the anti tank on there. It doesn't make any sense, but, you know, whatever. Swamp roads, scrap excavation, hauling scrap out of the ocean is a big importance for us. We just got a nice haul recently. Nice, good stuff. Peace, chiefs authority. Oh, we can demand our upper territories, huh? Let's see what happens. Oh, it seems you're not going to do that well, but still. Here. Let's go in. Have fun. Hey, just run another division. So how's this war going for them? Not good for these guys. Not good for those guys. It's great for us. See, selection. Awesome. Even more, please. That's... <coughs> good. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Move. Scrap excavation, whale hunting. Whales well, had a recent population explosion since the end of the Great War, rising from near extinction through a global spread across most of the deep oceans of the world due to lack of predators, lack of hunting, and a plethora of other helpful mutations. <coughs> Excuse me, perhaps we should take up the habit of old world, of the old world, and start hunting these beasts. Yes, we could. They'll come and try to fight us too for this stuff. Uh, will they want to come and try to beat us for it? Maybe, maybe not. Six hundred days is quite a few days. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. 
kingdom of Melia. They worshipped, so they said, the old great ones who lived ages before there were any men, and who came to the young world out of the sky. Those older ones are gone now, inside the earth and under the sea, but their dead bodies have told all their secrets and dreams to the first men, who formed a cult which had never died. This was that cult, and the prisoners said it had always existed and always would exist, hidden in distant ways and dark places all over the world, until the time when the great priest Mlulu, from her dark house in the mighty city of Mlulet, under the waters, should arise and bring the earth again beneath her sways. Nice. Yes. That's freaking awesome. Hey. And good. Go ahead. Because I'm sure the bone dancers will want to come kill us at some point, too. That's alright for now. Four camps, now it's good. Uh, here, have some planes, why not? Oh, look at that. It's the Marlock tribe form in Malaya. Oh, finally. Good God. Uh, the Cascadian Current from the eyes of Kingdom Rises. Cultural people. It lasts for quite a while. It is what it is, though. I'm not super worried about it. Alright, so you go here. So we have to wait in core everything first. Exploration, yes. Uh, you are super close. So all the coastal stuff we can core for free, which is freaking amazing. Uh, the Great Tunnels of Mulu. The Great Tunnels of Mulu is a name for the massive barren barrel dam we have dug underneath the Crowlands. The barrels go on for miles and miles, so for many they quickly become lost within the depths of the dark, massive dark labyrinth. Swamp roads. The swamp roads connect the Crowlands with the rest of the Marlurks spread out territories. Usually along these roads you can find shield warriors training in armed battle, the coral oracles preaching to new bloods, or even, on a lucky day, the queen herself walking across one to get from one spawning pool to another. Rock tossers. When the metal birds fly over us, we must be ready to sticks and stones, catapults, sling shots, arrows, whatever we can find, and feeding the tribe. Feeding the tribe should be the paramount priority among our people. An unfed tribe is an unhappy tribe, but I think we're there. We've done extraordinarily well for the first episode, and we're going to get a lot of course one now. So, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please, well, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll be at war with the North West Brotherhood, and keep pushing coast to coast. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.